the midway point now for NYO 2024. Day two brought us four more events, and some saw familiar faces on the podium. Others were taking the high ground for the very first time. First of which came in the mid-afternoon. Colton Paul, the reigning record holder, showing off everyone how he's done it after last year's big run. In the actual event, though, the score that counted was for Devin Cooper Jackson and Kaylin Carter. The Matsu girl was just five inches away from the women's record. Her best jump reached at 29.8 inches. For the North Pole boy, meanwhile, he chose to do this jump in style with the shades. His final tally of 34.11 inches was just under four away from Paul, an athlete he both admires and one day hopes to surpass. First one, I scratched. Uh, I did get in my head a little bit, but I remembered Colin Paul telling me that take your nervousness and then use that as fuel for you to jump further in. It did help me a lot, so shout out to Colin Paul for that. So I'm very jealous. I envy, I envy his, uh, his hops, I envy his scissor broad, but next year I'm gunning for his record, so nothing safe, nothing safe. I screamed when I first got it. I screamed in excitement. I was so happy because I got two new PRs today. Um, my second jump was my new PR, and then I got my third one, my last one, um, was a new PR. And realizing I was only five inches away from the record was, was a great feeling. Mount Edge comes Donovan Stefan Standifer and Anchorage A Salvation Semi. Brought, both took the stick and a gold medal, the pair earning wins in the boys' and girls' events, something that Sandifer says he's now used to. I was pretty confident, you know, uh, I've been putting in the work. I'm putting a lot of work, getting ready. So, you know, last year I didn't, and if there's too I didn't many end up pushing. So that gave me the confidence and uh, energy to out. push myself and, you know, uh, improve and get stronger. Yeah, there you go. And, you know, it paid mingle, off. Mingle. As competition continued, so did the feats of athleticism with the one hand reach. Pure balance, strength, and focus. And while size and length isn't always an advantage in these games, it certainly helps in this one. Unalaska's and NL- and Natalie Foman using his wingspan to hit 66 inches, bearing straights, Cali Rose, Panipchuk, 60 inches for girls' goal. For the nightcap, the two-foot high kick, testing those hops, a game that was historically used to communicate the success of a hunt. In the girls' event, it was Jordan Klaika earning her second gold of the games. She connected on 74 inches. Meanwhile, Miles Campbell representing Team Matsu, going toe-to-toe with Matt Chugaluk, getting the win at 88 inches. 